All right, so after some technical difficulty, we are now finally joined from Ridgeland by my friend Erica Hines, the uh, founder, CEO, uh, kind of everything over there at Everything Extra Marketing, Velma Jackson alumni, a marketing professional. Um, we got a room full here with us at Velma Jackson. This is for our marketing and sales service career cluster, and we're recording this for our friends at Rosa Scott, Madison Central, Ridgeland High School, Germantown High School the Academic Options Center, and our YouTube channel. So thank you so much for taking some time for us today because I think it's important to know that literally every field needs marketing people. Exactly. Um, thank you so much for having me. Um, and you're right, every field needs marketing. Um, pretty much any business that you go into is going to have at least one person in there um, doing marketing for them. Um, yeah. Now, um, before we get into that marketing, let, let's okay. let's let's rewind a little bit. You know, graduate okay. Velma Jackson High School right here where we are, um, and then just take us from Velma Jackson to where uh, you, you know your your college experience and how you got into marketing. I, like you say, I started out at Velma Jackson. Um, grew up right out there in that area. Graduated in '98. Um, when I left Velma Jackson in '98, I um went to Holmes in Ridgeland for a little while, transferred from there and went to Bellhaven. Um, and I'm going to be honest, um, when I first went to Bellhaven, I actually ended up, you know, finding the love of my life and uh, at that time anyway. Um, and starting, I um, dropped out for a little while, started my family um, and then realized, you know, I needed a little more. And so I went back to Bellhaven and got my bachelor's degree in 2011 after while working full time, having a family and two, you know, a husband and two children, I went back to school and and got my bachelor's degree in business administration. Wow. Um, so um, it didn't. My journey is not like most people's journey, you know, and go right on and get it. But I've always known that I wanted to be in marketing, um, even from high school, just. Um, being creative in different things in high school. I used to, in school, I used to uh, make bowls and sell those. And so I've always been a creative. So yeah. even then I, I knew what I wanted to do. Um, even, um, even during the time when I, I stopped going to school and got out into the workforce and was working, I actually started working in marketing. Um, I was working for McAllister's Deli. At that time, McAllister's um, marketing department was here in Ridge. So, um, I started with them and and realized how important going back to school was for me um, in that field. So I went back to school while working for McAllister's full time in their marketing department. Um, even then, just marketing, people don't realize how even in restaurants, the marketing that takes place in restaurants um, during during that time. The menu boards that you see in the when you from the time you walk into the restaurant, actually from the time you pull up to the restaurant, the logo that comes from marketing. You know, when you walk in, even the decor is part of marketing. Yep. Um, making sure everything goes along with the brand standard colors and and things like that. All of that is a part of marketing. Absolutely. Um, the menus, like I say, even um, with McAllister's, I actually helped with making the menu items. So I work with the I work with their chef. They have a corporate chef that actually come up with those items. And so I even part of the marketing that I was doing at that time, I was working with the chef coming up with those. All right, we lost your sound. I don't know. Yeah, we got you now. Okay. Even yeah, from talk that, about, you talk about coming up with the items. Yeah, we um would come up with the items and then get customers to come in and taste those items before they even made it to the restaurant. Wow. So, so once once we did that, we still had to come up with the marketing pieces, you know, once they went to the restaurant. Um, I worked for McAllister's until they moved to Atlanta. And then I moved into the nonprofit area for a while. Again, people wouldn't think about the marketing side for a nonprofit. But 
anything you see, um, I started with American Cancer Society. So the different races and, and fundraisings that American Cancer Society was doing, I had I was that person to make sure everything that went out to the public was perfect, was, was make sure that those fundraising events, um, you know, were successful. So anything that you see coming from those events, that that was coming from me making sure um, any of the pictures or going out talking to um, volunteers to make sure we had the volunteers, I was that person. Yeah, and that's awesome. You know, now here at Velma Jackson on campus, we have our Digital Media Academy. Well, someone with your skills, you'd have eaten that up if you'd have been here. Right. <laughs> we also have it at, uh, at Madison Central and at the MCTC. So this new trend in the marketing professionals is needed with, because you talked about creativity, with the uh, with the designing of the, uh, of the digital marketing and even the T-shirts and the flyers and all right. that. Right. So, Having those skills are needed in literally every single field. And we just had our hospitality person, you know, hotels and restaurants obviously need a lot need of marketing. marketing. Right. Right. Um, and so now I, I've started my own business. I actually started my own business in 2017. I've been working full time for myself. I was working part time at that time, but I've been working full time for myself since 2019. I do marketing. I do T-shirts. You can probably see one behind me. I do T-shirts. I do all things crafts. Um like reefs, things like that, people, business cards. I have a lot of small businesses that I do their, um, all their marketing for the social media. I allow business, small business owners. My target audience right now is small business owners because they don't always have the funds that, you know, your major businesses have. And so I want to help small businesses grow. So I give them opportunity because they are a small business. Their focus needs to be on their day to day operations. Yep. And, and so I'm that person that comes in, help them to make sure things go out on social media, make sure they have flyers and things that can go out to their customers to announce whatever they have going on. They have their business cards, they have the t-shirts, caps, anything they need to be successful. And I make sure on the back end that they're able to increase their profit just by their marketing. Yeah. And, and uh, on your, on your Facebook page with everything after you ask some great questions because you can have a great product, you can have great people, you can have a great concept, but you got to be able to sell it. And that's why marketing exactly. professionals and marketing plans are so needed because that's where you come into play uh, because small businesses, most of them are not reinventing the wheel. They're selling right. something somebody else is selling, but they have to make themselves stand out. Stand and that's, out. that's why marketing professionals are so needed. Um, exactly. And, and not just the big companies, but also if somebody wants to start their own business like you do. Right. Um, and, and it's so important because it is because you are starting um, a small business, like you say, with a larger company. Most of the time, we already see their marketing. We already know their brand. So as a small business, we ha have to um, introduce our brand and make sure we're putting our brand out there at all times. Um, marketing is so important. I, I always tell my clients, marketing is everything. Branding is everything. Um, have a recognizable logo. Um, you know, it, a logo that can be transferred to, to so many different things, wear your logo, be your own billboard. Um, you know, when, when doing your marketing, what better way to market is, you know, wear it on the shirt, put it on your vehicle, do things, small things can make a, a big difference yeah, in or, marketing. Or even I've, well, I've had some entrepreneurs say that they were able to come up with a cheesy catchphrase and it's easy for people to remember. Yes. Yes. Catchphrases are, are really great. And then, um, like I say, even a, a recognizable logo, because, for instance, when you see Coca-Cola logo, even if it's just the colors, you're going to automatically know that's Coca-Cola. If you see even like uh, around here, if you see C Spire logo, just the colors, if you see that C in the colors, you're going to automatically know that C Spire. So even with your logo, you have to have a, a logo that's recognizable and always put it in front of people. Um, social media, same thing. Be very active on social media. Even if you're not promoting your brand, do things that, that catch people's attention. Sometimes it, it, it may just be something that um, may not be specifically towards your brand. For instance, I have a dog. We know a lot of people like dogs. Sometimes post little corny videos with the dog or something, something that will grab people's attention, get them sharing that information out. If you're sharing it from, if they're sharing it from your business page, people are seeing 
your business name and sometimes are able to, of course, are going to click on that page and go back to your business page to see exactly where is this coming from and be able to see and or even follow your page because they see that video. They're going to follow your page because they're going to hope that you're going to post something else like these videos that they're interested in. Yeah. And and and, uh, and another thing is, you know, you, you talked about you had experience in the restaurant field. You also were formerly with a Magnolia Federal Credit Union, which is finance. You do not have a background in hospitality or in finance, but yet you worked in both fields because they needed marketing people. Exactly. I just recently left Magnolia um, Credit Union. I worked for them for a little while. And it, you're right. I went in with no financial background. I have never worked in a bank but because I know marketing. Um, I may not know the financial institution, but I know marketing and it all works hand in hand. Marketing, knowing knowing that part of it is what made me successful at, Mac, uh, at Magnolia. I can go out and talk about, um, once I learn their products, I can go out and talk about those products with no problem and be able to uh, promote those products in, in any form. Social media, um, like you say, it, digital print, any of that, I could do that. Yeah, and 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 we got to get you in contact with our digital media uh, academy over here because I'm no. I would love to. Yeah, she would love to partner with you. We'll definitely, I'll definitely get you in contact with her. Um, but you know, uh, the good thing is also with marketing, these big companies need marketing people. But this is something that you can make extra money on the side on your own. Um, you sure can. If you're, you know, if you need that stability of a stable income, um, like for you know, you use Ceasefire an example. Ceasefire has a big marketing department. You could do yeah. have the corporate benefits, and then on the side, you could build the website. So you could do the uh, the, the logo right. design, and uh, you know, have that entrepreneurship as well. On top of having the benefits, not having to pay, not having to pay for that out of pocket. That's correct. Um, I tell it everybody, entrepreneurship is not for everyone. <laughs> it's not. And so there are many, like you say, marketing is in every company. So there are major companies that you could go to, um, even small companies. Um, if you need to, you know, that stability. A lot of people do want that stability of that guarantee check because um, <laughs> with entrepreneurship, you don't have it. That um, some weeks, you know, you may get more than others um you have to make yourself get up and go you have to be an entrepreneur you have to have that drive because you you don't have anybody that's going to take up that slack for you so yes you are correct um it's not for everybody a lot of people and i started out that way i started out you know like i say in in corporate america and doing it that way and most of the, everything that i learned um yes i went to college but it's on on the job the only job experience and being able to learn it from others that was in that field and, and um, showed me the way, you know. And so, it, like I say, it's a great, great, great field to be in, especially if you're a creative, um, because it's always changing. I'm the type of person that I didn't want a position that was repetitive and that I would be doing the same thing every day and so with marketing it's not the same thing every day of course you're going to have some days where things are pretty much the same but it's not the same every day things do change and you're working on something different at all times yeah and trends are changing uh, uh yes uh, customers taste change customer yes. income change and it also yes. depends on the, the area you're marketing you're not going to market right. Jackson the same way you're going to market Los Angeles so um, exactly have to know your your market research you have to you you have to know your demographics you have to do your market research um you have to do even the research for the business category you have to know all that yeah and 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 uh, before I get to these students questions uh you know uh, it's I didn't realize this until I started having a lot of guests. And you talked about the entrepreneurship aspect. I didn't realize that the majority of entrepreneurs at least still work part-time to get that stable income and to have those benefits, especially they have families because, and, and I know, and they get sick of me saying this, but we just, what drives me insane. And, you know, young people see Instagram and they see somebody said, I just opened a business and they think they're instantly rich. And then, yeah. And the Jasmine Sullivan song, I'm a huge fan of her music, but it just drives me insane where she says, I'm going to move to Atlanta, start a business and never be broke again. I mean, <laughs> it, it just doesn't work like that. But it does uh, not work like that. Now, I right now, I don't. Well, even starting out, I, I, I did that. I, I went I started out doing marketing part time uh, for myself, doing it part time while working full time. And then I went into it, you know, full time. But I, I'm, I also have, like I say, not just marketing. I do the shirts. I do things like 
other things along with it. Um, I have multiple streams of income, but right now I'm not doing anything else other than that. But I would advise anybody starting out, it's not easy. The finance side of it is not easy. You're going to work. You, I mean, it's going to be a struggle at first. It has been a struggle and I wouldn't tell anybody, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to glorify it and make it seem like it is easy. It's not. It, there are some late nights. There have been nights, um, especially during football season with Jackson State football season. There have been times when and I was working uh, full time also during that time. I would go to sleep at 4 a.m. and be back up at 6 a.m. to get ready for work because I'm doing t-shirts and doing marketing and doing my the entrepreneur side of things and then I have to get ready and go and work for Magnolia also so it's not easy sometimes there is no risk um but for me I can say it has been reward yeah um and and also what type of technology are, are you using because obviously with a uh, with the website design the logo design you got to learn some different programs so what are some programs that, that you yeah. use you do have to learn different programs, um, Photoshop, InDesign. Um, I'm with the Adobe products. I, I work with Adobe products. And now, but now, um, to be honest, you don't even have to have knowledge in those because they're creating so many different apps and so many different uh, things now, like Canva. Canva is so much more easier than Photoshop. Oh, tell me <laughs> you about know? it. <laughs> So even now, even, and like I say, even apps, because sometimes I have clients that'll call while I'm out and need something and I don't have access to my computer right then. I can jump on my phone. Canva is on my phone. I can create a quick flyer or ad for them to post quickly on, on Facebook or Instagram just that quick or um, PixArt or something like that, you know, to be able to edit something quickly like it's it's so easy now with the different apps that are available um yes photoshop and all those things are good but it's so easy to be able to grab one of those apps and do something quickly too absolutely well i want to get to as many of these questions from the students as okay. i can these are all ninth graders um this first one is Jaden thompson and he asked what is the biggest struggle you faced in the marketing business the biggest struggle I face in the marketing business, hmm, I'm going to say, I mean, learning the demographics. A lot of times demographics are so different, and especially with, like you say, um, I start, I was in the restaurant industry, being in the banking, sometimes not because you don't know those industries, you don't really know the demographics starting out in those industries. It's kind of hard to be able to um, target and know the correct marketing to target those audiences. Yeah, and uh, and that's a great point as well because even with even within the the banking and within the restaurant industry, you're looking at completely different markets. McDonald's right. is not going to have the same target market as Ruth Chris Steakhouse. It's just not right. So even right. if you have the restaurant background, the marketing is completely different. Uh, right. This is uh, Iverson Miggins, and he asked, what inspired you to do what you do, and how hard was it to get where you are? Um, I think what inspired me was when I was growing up, my parents, my dad, well, my dad is a business owner, too, but my parents had a store, um, and I kind of where the whole marketing side started for me. Um, my parents started the store when I was in the sixth grade, so... I was kind of that person that was kind of creating flyers and, you know, doing things like that to, to kind of help promote things that we had going on in our store at the time. Um, and then not only that, my dad uh, rehab houses and rent houses out. So even making the flyers to to post at that time, you know, you we weren't posting on social media. We were uh, posting on the boards in, in the Jenny Jungle or something showing that <laughs> the house was for rent. That's right. you know? So creating a, a flyer or something to to let people know that we had houses for rent and things like this. So that's kind of what inspired me. That's awesome. Uh, this is Takevian Boyd, and he asked, if I wanted to get into marketing, what would you suggest the path I take? Um, I would suggest, um, like, I, I went to school for business administration with the emphasis in marketing. Um, so if school, and, and I know, I'm going to say this, and I know a lot of people don't like to hear it. School is not for everybody. Oh, I agree. But 
But if school is the option that you want to take, I would say um, to go and get that degree in marketing and get that um, to be able to take those different classes and, and, and get the knowledge in graphic design. And, and now more so is is being able to learn the digital side of things. Yeah. And you also mentioned homes. You know, a lot of these companies would be good with uh, somebody having an associates of uh, yeah. associates of graphic design and associates, uh, associates of marketing yeah. because you've worked with the latest technology and you're ready immediately. And even yes. now we talked about our we talked about our digital media academies. You know, if you know, uh, for our, any young people watching later or watching uh, watching with us now, it, you know, we're able to do that on campus now. Um, so. Right. It really is a, and, a, a, an option uh, if you don't want to go the traditional college route. Right. And being able to know like Google Analytics, learning um, about Google Analytics, because all of that is part of marketing, knowing um, the different things. Even with Facebook, um, I know a lot of young people, younger people <laughs> don't really like Facebook, but um, knowing the analytics on Facebook and, and being able to navigate through that, um, because most businesses are going to promote on Facebook. Yeah, because it's got, yeah, it's got the highest traffic. And even though right. it's, it may be an older demographic, you got to look at where the money is. Right. Uh, this is a good one. This is Alexis Bailey. She's one of our cheerleaders here. And she asked, who do you admire most in the marketing world? Who do I admire most in the marketing world? Hmm. That, now that's a hard one. I don't really. <laughs> um. To be honest, I'm gonna tell you. Um. And it's not anyone that you all know, but when I started out at McAllister's, my boss, um, was the VP of marketing at the time at McAllister's. Her name is well. At that time, her name was Annika Kreider. She's she's gotten married since then, but Annika is the one that actually inspired me to want to be in marketing. I watched her. I actually started out in, at McAllister's um, through a temp service, working two days a week and moved up through the ranks, um, became full time in just a couple of months and moved up through the ranks. But Annika has been that person. Even I follow her on social media now, and now she, she's gone through so many different brands and moved up in, in like, um, I'm, I don't remember the company she's with now, but I know she's in a president role now. But she's the person that I've always looked up to um, in marketing and kind of watch and pattern some of the things that I do after. Even now, I'll reach out to her if I get stuck on something. Um, it's two people that I'll reach out to. It's her and this um, young lady, Rebecca Wagner. I'll reach out to them um, and kind of just get tips on the latest and things that are going on in marketing. Yeah, because it... it, uh, it there can be trends you don't know about and you have, you have, right. to, you have to reach the buyer. Uh, you have to reach the buyer where they are. They're not going to come to you. Uh, right. This is Juliana King. And she asked, how do you collect and evaluate feedback? Um, collect and evaluate feedback for me now um, is, is with my clients. Um, and then doing, doing research with their customers, going in and doing surveys with their customers to see what the trends are with their, their customers and clients. Oh, um, and, and again, that all goes back to, to getting the feedback and getting and reading the market, uh, seeing how people are spending right. the money. Um, you right. know, you know, when I, I worked in the restaurant industry a while and people just couldn't understand why a, a menu item was taken off. I'm like, well, nobody was buying it. So nobody, <laughs> I mean, and, and that even goes for, I mean, anything that uh, people say a clothing or whatever. I mean, if it's not selling, why continue to have it in your store? You know? <laughs> so yeah, you're right. Uh, she's got a couple more. This is Jada Schaefer, another one of our cheerleaders. And she asked, uh, your journey was obviously hard, but did you ever just want to give up? Uh, or, or did you ever just want to give up on your career and everything you had worked for? You're going to always have those times. You're going to always. And I, I think in any field or anything, sometimes it gets hard. Um, like I say, yes, it has been hard. It um actually is what what made me go to Magnolia Federal Credit Union. Um, I had been working for myself for a long time and I kind of fell into what I say a slump of uh, feeling like I didn't know the updated trends in marketing. I kind of felt like I was doing more t-shirts and things and not really doing marketing and that's where my passion was. So I'm like, okay, I need to go find a job in marketing. I need to you know, be able to get back into marketing and do more marketing. So yes, it gets hard, like I say, and even being an entrepreneur, not 
having the guaranteed check in some weeks, um, not having the funds come in the way it is, you know, on other weeks. Yes. And like I say, I have two kids and a dog, <laughs> you know, a house, cars and, and things like this. So the bills st still come even when the clients are not there. So, yes, it gets hard. And sometimes I do want to give up. Absolutely. I just got one more from the students. This is Jayla Graham. Uh, she's interested in being a fashion designer. Um, so she's really looking to be an entrepreneur at some point. And she asked, what would, how would you recommend finding the best way to advertise my product? Um, right now I'm going to say social media. So, in, and I, I, the reason why I say that is because in 2012, I made my first wreath in, in 2012, door wreath in 2012, and I put it on Facebook. I wasn't even trying to sell them. I wow. just made one myself and took a picture of it and put it on Facebook. And people just started asking, how can I get it? How can I get it? Even with the t-shirt business, I can't, we kind of just fell into the t-shirt business. Well, I'm not going to say we fell into the t-shirt. My son wanted to do t-shirts and I bought all the equipment, but I made a t-shirt just myself for myself, posted it on Facebook and my business has been booming ever since I posted that t-shirt on Facebook. So I'm going to say social media right now is the best avenue to get started with it promote 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 and it, even if you don't get any likes even if you don't get any comments keep promoting keep posting they're looking they see it and eventually they'll buy yeah and that also gives you documented work if you wanted to work as an employee right that shows you know uh marketing professionals are really driven on uh on past projects so anything you can right. document that you worked on that can show an right. employee look here's what i've done i can do this for you and right. they all you know they may need somebody that needs that Exactly. All right. So we're almost out of time and, and we thank you so much for taking time for us. But before we go, um, you know, especially being a Velma Jackson alumni, you were walking these same halls that these kids are walking right now, sitting in these same classrooms. Now, I, I don't want, you know, I, I didn't want to tell your age, but none of the teachers are still here that you were here with. <laughs> but uh, but but again, you're from the same area. You, you grew up Thanks. just like these kids. Um, and it's, and they don't want to hear about how much more they have that we had. Cause I went to Madison County schools too. And I don't have any of that. We didn't have any of this stuff, but anyway, no, that's, a, that's a story for a different day, but, but you know, you're from this area and you, and you grew up just like they did, but yet you've become a successful business owner. You got a degree from Bellhaven. You've, uh, you've, you've raised two kids and you've become a great professional in your field that really needs more people from this area to get into it. So what can they do to be just as successful as someone like you coming from the same spot? Um, I would say, hmm, find people like me. Um, I'm willing to, to, to mentor, you know, find mentors that are people that are willing to be your mentors, um, research what you want to do. Um, and, and know that it, you have to have a passion for it. If you don't have a passion for it, you're not going to continue it. Um, um, so you have to know, because even though I'm an entrepreneur, even though it gets hard, I look forward to getting up every day doing it because it's something I love to do. I don't look at it as work because it's something I love to do. So I would say, do your research. Um, if you're interested in going to school for, it, or even going to a trade school, um, getting, like you say, the graphic design side of it, um, or even photography side of, it, because even photographers are considered in marketing um, because you have to have those photos for the different marketing pieces. So figure out what side of marketing or what, whatever field, what side of that field that you want, do your research on it and know um, what you, and find people that are in it that can mentor you and help you out as you go along. Yeah, I agree. And I forgot all about photography. That's another big part of our Digital Media Academy here and at Madison Central and uh, at the Madison County Career and Technical Center. And again, just think if you'd have had something like that, you'd be even more you'd be even better than you already are. Right. <laughs> so it's just important for them to take advantage of the opportunities they have. Please, so. please take advantage of it now. Um if, if those opportunities are offered in school now, and I know when my oldest son was in school, he was at, he went to, he graduated from regional high and he was able to take graphic design. So, and that actually him taking graphic design kind of helped me because he was able to teach me some things that I didn't realize in like Photoshop and things like this. So he was able to help me out a lot too. So I would just suggest if those opportunities start now, 
if those opportunities are available to you now in, in high school, take those opportunities, uh, those free opportunities now and start now learning those things because um, it will really help, especially for those that, that may not start right out, may take a break before going to college or whatever, it will help you in those fields, getting out into those fields um, now if you go ahead and take advantage of it. Yeah, because uh, I, I can tell you sales and marketing is not going to stop. People, it's company, not going to stop. And it's going to take a human touch. Now, before we go, uh, tell us where to find everything extra on uh, on Facebook. Facebook is everything extra. Um, Instagram is everything underscore extra two. Um, and I'm going to be honest. I don't promote myself as much as I promote my clients. I have a a pretty large portfolio of clients now, so I don't really promote myself as much as I, I should. But it's everything extra on Facebook and everything underscore extra two on Instagram. Yeah, and really cool stuff that you've done on there. So it's great follow yeah. for the to see. And I will definitely get you in touch with our digital media person. Uh, okay. she, she's always looking for uh, for people to come in. And I know you love to get back to the Velma Jackson community. I do. I do. I love Velma Jackson. So I, I'm always willing to come up there and do whatever I need to do. All right, we'd, we'd love to have you on campus soon. But again, Erica Hines, owner of Everything Extra, marketing professional, Velma Jackson alumni. Thank you so much for joining us today. All right. Thank you. All right, talk to you soon, buddy. All right.